the election isn't for another 43 days, but already some Minnesotans have cast their ballots. Early voting started last Friday. We're among the first states in the country to open the polls. Nationwide, one in three people is expected to vote early this year. Is this a good idea? Yeah, I think this is happening all around the country, of course. 34% of voters are expected to do this, uh, to vote early. Here in Minnesota, we're doing it too. So this is really important for these campaigns to actually come out, rack up some votes early uh, as you're getting into the presidential campaigns in November. So rack it up early, get it done. I think everybody's on board with this now. Right. So, folks, just so you get it, some people voted in Minnesota for the presidency on Friday. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's amazing. I think that this yeah. is something that's very significant. I think yeah. it makes it easier for working people, working women especially. I also think it's a game changer, Pat, because think about it. One in three voting, the last presidential debate, October 19th, something huge happens in the last week of the election, so, uh, some debacle right. by one of these candidates, and it may not matter as much because... All these people have already voted. Yeah, that's one of the dangers of uh, early voting. But in Minnesota, you can pull it back if you want, if something happens up to a week or so before the election. But overall, this is the trend all around the country as, as voting systems modernize. Right. So big, here it is in Minnesota. Change. Yeah. Well, Minnesota is once again home to some of the most expensive congressional races in the country. This week alone, outside groups spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on attack ads. You may have seen these on television. Here are two different models. Well, this Trump one degrades women. And the Eric Paulson one opposes equal pay. That's pretty similar. Rick Nolan has been in Congress for 10 years. He's comfortable. But Nolan was uncomfortable giving a pay raise to American soldiers. I mean, they're all negative. We're looking at all of this. Uh, we're going down this negative road again, Esme, this year in Minnesota all over. Do these negative ads actually work? Well, I think this is a huge deal. I, the studies say that they do. Uh, these outside money ads, though, millions and millions of dollars pouring in from around the country to influence your vote, Minnesota. This is a big deal. It shows that obviously we matter, but yeah. the ads from these outside groups are amongst the most negative and the most distorted as well, as you pointed out. Yeah, so a lot of these are false ads, and a lot of them are mocking. They're deriding the other candidate. We're seeing Rick Nolan as an old man with blinders on, laying, taking a nap in his chair. We're seeing a rich kid, uh, a rich kid, Stuart Mills. We're seeing negative, negative, negative in all of these congressional races, and I think we've only begun to see the money coming in. It's going to be a lot right. more. And again, these are ads not from the candidates themselves. I'll the These state. are from outside groups, from outside the state. Obviously, Minnesota matters here. <laughs> yeah, these three, we have three congressional races here in Minnesota where actually everybody's watching around the country. They could flip one way or the other. Absolutely. All right. We'll be